Hey, New York. My name is John Wilson, and I'm the director of uh, How To with John Wilson. Hi, I'm Nathan Fielder. I'm executive producer, and today we're talking about the bread scene. The show is called How To, but in my tutorials, I don't, you don't really learn much. Oh my God, sorry. I don't really teach you anything. The role of a producer is to guide the talent. You say stuff like, you know what, I love this, or you know what, I hate this. It's good to say you know what first, just so there's a little bit of suspense. When I'm thinking of an episode, I try to find something in my life that I'm having a problem with. I like to walk around, knock on doors, and see who wants to talk. Like I said, he was a nudist. It's kind of like Planet Earth, where you're seeing things around New York in a way you haven't really experienced before. <laughs> My first job out of college was actually working for a private investigator. I had to comb through hours and hours of the most banal footage you can imagine and try to find one little incriminating moment. It really trained me to notice little details. I think this show was kind of born out of that. Basically anytime there's kind of a glitch in the matrix, that's when I pull out the camera and I start filming. John's really good at discovering things that you would probably normally ignore or just walk by. But when you're really forced to look at it, it really makes you think about how confusing uh, modern life is, I think. A lot of the show is really built in the edit. The most fun I have is trying to create metaphors or poems. The more you talk to someone, the harder it is to hide who you really are. That's when all of the material really starts to sing. I think John and I were both a little nervous if his style would translate to TV. It's hard to send a network a shot of rotting pizza and tell them that their money is going to a good place. I kind of vouch for him with HBO. We got the green light to make the show, and I was like, you know, to John, I said, what do you want to do? What's your vision? And he sends me this shot of a loaf of bread. The, the very first thing I shot was this guy that had tied this loaf of bread to, like, a subway pole. To me, it was really suspenseful to watch because, like, I didn't know if the guy was going to miss his stop because he had to untie the bread. So I kept filming for a while. Eventually the guy stopped, came, and he untied it really quickly and worked his way out of the subway and got onto the platform. When I sent the footage to Nathan, he seemed to respond really well. I didn't really understand what was interesting about the bread shot. I want to be supportive though, so I'm just kind of like, oh, you know, that's great. Are there any other options maybe? So I wanted to give him like more options and stuff. I went out and I just started to shoot a lot more. John started sending me more shots of bread. Someone like pushing a, a bunch of loaves of bread, just bread in different scenarios, and was just saying stuff like, I want to do stuff with this bread. I was like, John, you know, this is HBO. What are we doing here? <laughs> I just kept telling him like, this is like the magic of the show. Like, the fact that we can show stuff like this, this is the show. At a certain point, I did start to get a little nervous that all my eggs were in the John Wilson basket. Uh, Nathan likes security. Uh, he's always talking about revenue streams. As a producer, you, you really have to diversify the talent you're working with, because you can't ever be sure who's going to make it big. So along with John, I started working with a variety of young artists to develop their voices and help them produce content. Nico, Tykeen, Jacob, and Zach have really mainstream appeal. They're young, they can dance. I've offered my house up rent-free, so they don't have to worry about money, bills, any of that, and they can just focus 24-7 on making content. Marco. You guys gotta say polo. Our goal is to leave a positive impact on the world virtually through, through TikTok. TikTok is a children's dancing app where children will upload videos of themselves dancing that children and adults can enjoy. Nathan says we're a family, that we're supposed to uplift each other and support each other. 
and I agree with that. You guys know Marco Polo? Marco! Polo! We get to have fun with these dances that we get to make up and we got everything we need in this house. At one point I did notice that it was getting harder to get a hold of Nathan. It seems like Nathan has a lot going on all the time. Honestly, living with these guys doesn't even feel like work. We're always having fun, we're always cracking jokes, we're sharing experience, life events are happening together. Happy birthday, dear Jacob. The vibe in the house is kind of like a party. That should be two pieces for both of you, okay. for two people. We have a calorie intake of 1,500 calories every day. Nathan says that we need to stick to this because our looks are a big part of our TikTok platforms. What's for dinner, boys? PB&J. PB&J. It's sometimes annoying to deal with the parents who are asking me questions like, can I come visit? Or what is, is he OK? I haven't heard from him in a few days. And it's just like, yeah, we're making content, OK? Like, don't worry about it. I just don't want adult energy in the house, if that makes sense. I want to keep it, like, young. I can't call my mom and just talk to her because I'll get bombarded with questions. Where'd you get that coat? My mom just gave it to me. When did you see your mom? Okay. Now that I am of legal age, he makes it a point to tell me that I don't need to talk to them anymore because I'm my own person, I'm an adult now, and I don't need my parents. But I don't really understand what that has to do with anything or what that has to do with the house. Jacob and I have really bonded. We have this support network with each other and like we, we talk about everything. And we're doing things you wouldn't expect guys to do, like share emotions and like what we're feeling about everything. I feel like some of the other guys don't like me as much as you do. Of course they like you. They all like you. I think they might just be confused with how you run the house. I've just never met a 17-year-old with such wisdom. Don't let me catch you. Uh, Nathan has this routine of coming to me when we're supposed to be asleep and, you know, just talking about his problems and crying, kind of, you know, just venting. Uh, I try my best to tell him what he wants to hear, what he needs to hear. He really does seem like a broken person. And, yeah. I also feel like there's cameras in the bathroom. Nathan really has a special gift for kind of finding emerging talent and kind of nurturing them. You know, some people need drugs to get high, but for me, it's like watching new talent blossom is the thing that like gets me off. Hey! It's his house. Uh, he pays the bills, he pays the rent. So it's his rules and we don't really have a choice but to follow them. Can you do an underwater dance? Let's see. He's everything you'd really want in a collaborator. It's like he's, he's laser focused on you and what you want. These guys are making cool stuff. Like, they're not going around filming bread. We actually ended up using the bread shot in uh, episode three. Uh, it's called How to Improve Your Memory. And uh, I'm really excited for everyone to watch the series. <laughs>